Building DIY Sustainable Cities. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 468. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing other people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And this is our March 13th, 2022 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic is building DIY sustainable cities. And you can see our examples of the seven sustainable villages and the duplicate city center that we were starting with all in the background of this video right here. And so building DIY sustainable cities is really a major foundation of what it is that we're doing, but not the only foundation. And so more specifically, like we're taking the physical foundation of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and we're combining those with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as and call highest good approaches to fulfilled living, education, economics, and true earth stewardship. And we're putting all these things together to demonstrate a sustainable city model that will provide a way of living that most people would consider to be far better than the way that they're living right now. And that's because it's built on a model of cooperation and collaboration and through cooperation and collaboration, creating the most amazing environment that we can all envision and sharing that with each other, sharing that with our local community and sharing that with the world as an open source model for DIY teacher demonstration hubs, communities, villages, and ultimately cities, and making that all replicable. And so we're open sourcing and free sharing the nuts and bolts for how to do that. The electrical design, the plumbing design, the home design, but also the fulfilled living design, the open source education model, the economic model that is a combination of a nonprofit model as well as an ecotourism for profit model that will provide enough revenue to support all residents within the environment and continue to expand that environment indefinitely as well as the stewardship model that takes takes the entire environment that we're living in and says, how do we steward this and make this the most amazing environment possible? You know, how do we support and and evolve and grow this ecosystem and this biome to be even better than it is right now so that we can all benefit from that? And so our idea of building DIY sustainable cities is to create the most amazing living experience, the most supportive living experience possible for the human organism and open source and free share that as a model that anybody can replicate and then open to open that up as a ecotourism destination so that people can come and experience what it is that we're creating participate in the fulfilled living models get their hands dirty with the housing model and help construct that you know eat the fresh locally grown food that's not sprayed with herbicides pesticides or fungicides and is more diverse than what you can get in the grocery store because it doesn't have to have a shelf life to eat food that has been picked that day and prepared by people that absolutely love to do that as their gift to the community. This is what one community is creating and our idea for creating world change that is self-replicating. Self-replicating because we'll make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough so that the idea will spread its own. And that foundation, that DIY sustainable city foundation is a major part of that, a major part of making it easy enough and affordable enough. And so, and then the attractive enough aspect is by showing a lifestyle that is the equivalent of a club med or a cruise or a vacation lifestyle, all within walking distance and as a daily experience. More time to do the things that people want to do and way more things to do than even the traditional metropolitan area can provide. And it's all within walking distance. If there's something that you can imagine that you would want to do, you could create this and create it in this environment cooperatively, collaboratively. And the environment provides a more luxurious lifestyle because it says, well, it's not a lot of money that people want. It's the things that money can buy that people want. And so how do we provide those better than people could provide for themselves? Well, through cooperation, collaboration. Not every single person needs access to a Jeep. Or sorry, needs a Jeep if they have access to a Jeep. Not every single person needs access even to a vacuum cleaner if they always, sorry, not even single person needs to own a vacuum cleaner if they have access 
to a vacuum cleaner or tools or all the toys that people like to play with a jet ski you know a motorcycle a bicycle you know and so or a tennis court or a soccer field you know these are things that people don't have access to but within a community environment like this they don't they don't have access to them without having to go somewhere else and oftentimes even pay for access to something like a tennis court whereas in a community like this we could provide that by pooling our resources and you have access to it all the time and so much more like beautiful hikes just right out your front door you know wonderful meditative <clears throat> excuse me places to sit right out your front door you know a book club or a reading club or spending time with you know your friends and their families and having an outdoor picnic those kinds of things all within walking distance because your community is there close by you as part of these do-it-yourself sustainable cities and so this is how one community sees ourselves providing something for everybody and creating world change by creating all this and open sourcing and free sharing all this so it can be replicated as a complete teacher demonstration model, sharing that with the world, or so it can be replicated as individual components where people can pick and choose what it is that they want because maybe they're not interested, maybe the whole idea of community is not something that you want, and instead you'd just like to grow something new, or maybe you'd like to build a sustainable guest house, or maybe you'd like to run a community-based education program because you'd like to have more hands-on involvement in that and really be a part of your child's education instead of handing that over to somebody else. You know, or maybe that's not interesting to you and you're just more interested in like spending time in nature and the stewardship aspects are something that you'd be interested in. So we're taking all of this and putting it together as the complete model and open sourcing and free sharing it so it can be replicated as individual components as well. And the ultimate complete model is DIY sustainable cities, building DIY sustainable cities that can be replicated around the world, solution models designed to create additional solution creating models, a self-replicating model for world change so that we can achieve world change within our lifetime. Because through a self-replicating model, if you imagine 50 people coming together and creating one community and that inspiring two more groups of 50 people to start the next year and that inspiring four more groups the year after that and all of those working together, inspiring eight more and then 16 and 32 and 64 and so on and so forth. Within 30 years, we would include the entire human population. Now, is it going to happen that way? No, but it doesn't need to include the entire human population to positively and permanently impact the entire human population. We just need to reach that critical mass and that tipping point to achieve global sustainability, which you currently are far, far from. And in doing this, we can address the greatest challenges of our generation and generations to come, all simultaneously providing enough, by providing enough of what people need so that people's needs are met so effectively and they're living in such abundance that they then have the time and the resources to give to others. And the resource that they're giving to others is the ability to create the same thing so that those people then can give and help and support and lift other people as well. We can work together in cooperation, collaboration to create a better world for everybody. And this is one community's vision of creating and living for the highest good of all people and all life on this planet and creating a sustainable world within our lifetime. So, if you like this kind of thing and you want a weekly dose of awesomeness and good news and how we can create world change, like and subscribe. It's the easiest way to support us. Ring that bell so you get notifications, so you actually get an email when these things come out and you know what's coming. Um, if you'd like to see details, specifics of everything that we're creating and have created, uh, visit our written blog, visit our website, take a tour. I mean, we have hundreds of pages of content. We've had over 600 volunteers contribute to our project. We're an all 100% volunteer organization, including myself, non-government organization, non-profit organization, creating this because we want to live this way. We want to share this with everybody else that wants to live this way as well and make it as easy, easily accessible and rap replicable as possible. And uh, if you'd like to help on that note, um, visit our helping page. Get involved in whatever way works for you. Uh, it could be something as small as donating 5 or $10 to a project that helps cover our operational expenses and continue to open source our stuff. could be becoming a volunteer, or there's lots of other ways to participate as well. Visit our helping page and check that out. We've got something there that we think is for, uh, there for everybody. And um, yeah, thanks for watching till the end. So we're going to keep building DIY sustainable cities. Everybody's participate, uh, invited to participate. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, 
and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is High's Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to High's Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.